That's, uh... Did you write that or did Lenny write this? He wrote the music, I wrote the lyrics. You wrote the lyrics, he wrote the music. That's Lenny Kravitz, the beloved husband of Lisa Bonet, and that uh, song also has a political message, yes. Okay, this is to Miss Bonet. I am a person in education, and I know that I am not allowed to permit any child into my classroom that's not immunized. Do you know, know that? I know. It's a law? Yeah. Do you know now, that? Can I just, just let me have a second here. Some people are beginning to ask whether or not we should be like wooden soldiers because they can't come in, you don't have your papers, and they're blah, 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 blah. I know. You know. Well, I don't want to and be you're not allowed in, and I have my orders. And don't argue with me because this is from the Department of Health, and we know what we're doing. <laughs> now, more and more people step forward and say, wait a minute, hold it here. Now, the problem is, we, uh, well, look, I'm not saying I know it all here because there's no doubt about it. We have all but eradicated polio with the salt vaccine. Uh, we, and the, and yeah, the 3D, what do you call it? How many DPT? Yeah, yeah. The new one called yeah. Hib. I know. And so nobody's here to say we're all, you know, nobody's acting like the Messiah here with all the answers, but you should also know that more and more people are doing what Lisa did, and that is to make their own decisions about what, if at all, how many vaccinations, if any, their child will receive. Prevention is better than cure. Yes. Now, I was wondering, without a vaccination, a lot of countries are not allowed to travel. Yeah, well, and there you go. You You're stuck on the back porch, kid. <laughs> you know. I would think Lisa would I like travel. to travel uh, later in life. Uh, actually, I'm about to embark on some great trips, and I don't know. I'll but I assume you have been vaccinated. Yes, I so have. So the issue would only extend to Zoe. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Lisa, um, what do you plan to do for your child as she grows up? It, I, this would be a good suggestion to me also to stop childhood diseases or colds, you know, aspirins. Nutrition, what are you going to do about it? Nutrition, that? first of all, is, you know, wh why are people getting sick? We have to ask ourselves this question. And cancer and, uh, and heart disease and heart attacks, We're where does it come from? Sick, are we? No. We're really not. And we, and We're it's missing possible. the boat of life. And it's amazing because it turns out that the very choices that we make that make us healthy, that prevent disease in the first place, yeah. are the ones that are best for our world and allow it to be really healthy. The question healthy. was asked before, what provoked you people to get active in this? And I don't recall there being an answer. What, it, what turned each one of you around Besides, to promote this, this lifestyle? Besides, like I said, opening my eyes and seeing sick people and, um, and just f fear, feeling the fear, is listening to my body and when I ate meat I didn't feel good when I ate dairy I, I woke up and groggy my periods as my periods were painful and they no right. longer are uh, uh, well with me it was the yeah <laughs> Raul. Uh, Raul. Uh, you're a courageous man you I... followed that one now <laughs> we can hardly wait to, to find out what may I speak certainly thank you <laughs> Uh, with me, it, it, uh, with me, it was uh, the hunger project. I got involved in 1977 uh, when I realized that we, we could actually end hunger in the planet and through ending hunger in, uh, improve the environment and, of course, have people eat uh, and create the opportunity to eat for themselves. So that's what got me involved. Over here, please. We have only an hour show. My good woman. This woman wants to ask a question. There are so many organizations out there. How do you decide which one to get involved with? And River, you want to Earth swing Save is, is a very good one, which he's the president of, and founded on this book, uh, Die for New America, is very this provocative, is the book about which very River informative. Speaks. And That's then it. there's uh, all sorts of great groups, the National Alliance, um, Greenpeace. I, I could name them all, but I, I'm not going to. Please help me get some well, of these folks in. We got more wisdom out here than you can imagine. Yeah. I nursed my 20-month-old daughter, and Good she has you. chosen herself to be, be a vegetarian. She will not eat meat. And I've had so many doctors tell me that I should stop nursing, and I think it's a shame. Why and I was they, wondering if... Is, how do they Stay by it? your convictions. Um, You're in tune with your baby's health. You're in tune with her nature. You're doing the right thing. And she's so healthy. She never gets a cold. She's Why would a doctor care how long you nurse? Because they she's think she's a toddler. You shouldn't nurse. Well, I'm a military wife, so I see very many doctors whenever we move. So I've seen a lot. But I'm a member of La Leche League, and I have a support group that I turn to. And but I just the point think... is, the more you go back to doctors, the richer they become. Yes. Um, I would just like to point out that um, nutrition is very important, but if you're going to stop eating meat, you need to learn to combine certain foods to get 
to get a complete protein. Which is why and you need to educate I, yourself on that. But it's not something you can't just start eating beans and have a complete protein. I wrote you Diet for New to... America so people would know how exactly. to make the transition effectively. I'm almost out of time here. Yeah. Rule, I know that you were involved with results, which is a political will to end hunger, and they promote, I know, vaccinations of third world children. How do you respond to Lisa's uh, claim about vaccination? I think uh, the situation in the third world is different from the developing world. And I think still the, the mothers in the third world ha have to learn to think for themselves. Yes. But in general, it's something that uh, uh, and, uh, creates health for children in the third world. And we'll be back in just a moment. Earth Save is at 706 uh, Frederick Street in uh, Santa Cruz, California. The zip there is 95062. And this free call uh, 800 number would be for the book, which is 1645. Yeah. And that includes shipping and handling and postage and love. It's an 800 number, and that's it right there. Yes. Uh, how effective are you guys? I mean, you guys seem to be really involved. How, what are your results? More effective every day because people like you are joining the cause. Please be brief. Yes. Yeah, River and Lisa, you're great. You should be commended. But channel your resources to organizing your generation. There's too many kids out there right now your age blowing each other away for drugs. Organize your, <laughs> your generation. Yeah. Education. I think education is a must, and the first utmost thing we should do. Isn't it incredible for the, that those kids can have role models like these now? Yeah. Isn't that good? If I may just say, uh, well, you, <laughs> you sound like an older guy saying, yeah, but you sound like you're saying, look, look, kind of pat him on the head here, nice going, but no. you're not doing the right thing, do something I'm else. 35, I'm in here, I don't really care about that much than the younger kids. You should, I mean, this... You know, I mean, nutrition is fine. More important, but organize your generation. You know what, we're You're not right. just talking about nutrition. We are talking about how it directly relates to havoc on this planet, and, and there's no and getting the, around it. And how the balance. Your celebrity that you have, you would be better off. I don't want to. I don't want to argue. Now you are preaching. Like, well, You're I telling them that. Well, I know here, let's it's understand. It's doesn't it's make it's you it's wrong. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You're telling them, hold don't it. do this. Do that. Hold it. Don't do this. Do that. Hold it. Hold it. Look, look, that's precisely what uh, doesn't make things work, because it's going to take all of us. It's not, it's going to take all of us. I, I agree with what he's saying. It's, you see, the thing is, I want to tell you, I, what, what I want to say is that you have as much power as I do in your own environment in making a difference. And Neither I, am I. I I'm going to be probably less long than you because yeah. you're 35 and I'm 32. I mean, yeah. 30. <laughs> no, no. Let's but let Lisa in here. I, I would just like to say the reason why so many young people are so screwed up and blowing each other away is because the balance is completely off kilter. And people are starving or hungry and are, are led to such severe things as drugs and that because... Because the environment is so... Because... Okay. And... You're saying the environment doesn't influence personal behavior? Come on. Yes. And we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> Diet for America is uh, the contribution of John Robbins to our uh, improving the global neighborhood. My goodness. I just think it's important to know that I think one of the problems is, is that the American people just aren't educated enough and they're just manipulated by the media and no one reads and for, for Lisa to come up and, st and be, you know, independent enough to talk about... Services provided you know, and promotional yeah, fees paid by the following. <laughs> I would just like to say that you guys have done a wonderful job, especially Lisa and River. You've opened my eyes.